Hey guys, what's up? This is iTakeOne here. So Apple just announced the dates for their Worldwide Developers Conference happening from June 3rd to June 7th in San Jose, California. This event will have a major focus on Apple's upcoming updates to their operating systems like the iOS, macOS, watchOS, and more. But in the meantime, we have an upcoming Apple event on March 25th, which is in less than two weeks from now for which Apple sent out invitations on March 11th with the slogan, it's showtime. Apple never really tells us in advance what the event is going to be about, but the invitations and the slogan always gives a slight hint. This one was a bit more obvious because we've had enough rumors accumulating for a while now that we know Apple is going to be announcing their new streaming service at this March event. Alongside this new service, Apple is expected to unveil the next generation of budget iPads, including a new 7th generation iPad that has Apple Pencil support and an upgraded iPad Mini 5. Also, the long-awaited AirPods 2 are rumored to be unveiled at this event. Recently, Digitimes has gotten news from industry sources who are claiming that two companies from Apple's supply chain are gearing up on mass-producing the next generation of iPads, and two other companies are now working on upcoming AirPods 2. The report from the industry sources says that both of these products, the new iPads and the AirPods 2, should be expected at the March event. Though many reliable sources in the past have indicated that the upcoming March event will have its major focus around the streaming service, but I think it would make perfect sense to release minor hardware upgrades to existing Apple devices alongside the new service. This way, they will attract more people to either upgrade or bring new customers into the Apple ecosystem that will in return help them gain more customers for their new streaming service. We've had so many hints piling up for a while now, which include new iPad models being registered in regulatory database, rumors of the budget iPad's display size increasing to 10.2 inches from 9.7 inches with slimming down the bezels while still retaining the body of the 6th generation iPad. Same goes for the iPad Mini 5, the body is rumored to look exactly the same as its predecessor with a display size of 7.9 inches with upgraded hardware. As for the AirPods 2, rumors are indicating minor upgrades, slight redesign with a new color option and improved internals. Though we can't be 100% sure what to expect and what not to expect until we tune in to see Apple's event on March 25th, I'm super excited to see what Apple has in store for their streaming service and what they're going to offer to compete with other big names in the streaming market like Netflix and Amazon Prime. But I also hope that Apple brings out a few long-awaited products at this event. So this is it for this video guys, let me know which products you're waiting to hear about at this March event. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to stay updated with the latest leaks and rumors around Apple products. So until next time guys, take care.